Hello, can anyone hear me? We'll get started with our unboxing in just a minute or two. Just getting the camera into position. All right, let's get ready to get things started. Let me switch over to the camera. I moved to a new view. Can you still hear me? Um, I don't speak Spanish. What does that mean? Oh, whatever. You can see on camera, I got this box in the mail on Saturday. And it contains some Bakugan, and I want to open this box. Um, I'll show you what's inside the box now. We're going to take my little slashy tool. We're going to go break the tape. Inside the box, we have this Bakugan 5 pack, and we also have, I got an extra one as well, bonus Bakugan. So we're going to open these live on camera right now. I think we're going to start with we're going to start with a single pack cuz this will be easier and quicker to open and we can get the packaging out of the way and we'll go for the big box. This is an Orlos Scorporos. This is also the first Scorporos that I have in my collection. You'll be able to see him better when the light isn't reflecting off the of plastic. So let me get him out here. So it looks like his cores are two green fists. One gives plus three damage, and the other gives minus three damage, so they cancel each other out. That's a cool pair of cores, actually. Now I'm going to come in here and take out the card. And there is the Scorporos character card. And now I'm going to take out Scorporos himself. And get the packaging. out of the way. And here is Scorporos core. He's a nice he's a nice looking little scorpion. And let's see to close him. I think it's just 
tail in, head up, and claws back, I think. What did I do wrong? Oh, you have to fold the tail in. There we go. And there he is in ball form. Aurelis Scorpios as a ball. And now we're going to go back to our cores. And, uh, you know what? Let's try something here. I'll have to roll backwards because of the way the camera is angled, but let's see if I can land him. I'm not used to rolling in this direction. All right, we'll, we'll roll them out a little bit later when I have more cores out. But for now, there he is, Orla Scorpios, one more time. <laughs> and now for the main event. There are five Bakugan in this package. Two, ul two Ultras, three Cores, um, ten, uh, ten of the Core Magnets, five Ability Cards, five Character Cards. There's a lot in this box. Um, let's see, what's the best way to do this? Give me a moment to find where the openings are. Okay, there's a tab on this side. This flap comes out like this, and then same on the other side. What do you mean, Gan do the Time Warp or the Hokey Pokey? I don't get what you're asking. Okay, so I really only had to pop it open from one side, I think. Regardless, we're through. We got it open. Lots of packaging with this one. All right, let's get out the cores first. And there should be 10 of them in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So let's see. Uh, green fist plus two damage. Orange shield plus four hundred power. To Pyrus or Darkus. Green Fist, another plus three damage. Green Fist, plus two damage. Give me a moment. I forgot to look where this guy's power was right there on his side. Red Fist this time, plus five damage. Orange Shield, plus 150. Red Fist, minus five damage. Shield, plus 300. Shield, Pyrus and Darkest 400 again. 
and Magic Shield plus 600. So those are all the cores. Now we're going to go for where are the cards hiding in here. You see here where it shows the cards? That's just a cardboard insert. The cards are really hiding under there in this little packet here. Let me go ahead and take cards out. So it looks like this set comes with Aquas Vice Rocks. It's going to be the blue core. Hold on. So character card, an ability card called Aquify. Ability. An ability called Shadow Cloak. An ability called Tremor. Oh, the Bakugan pictured on this card, his name is Truncanius. I have the Pyrus version of him, but he's not in this box. Ventus Shield. Ooh. Darkest Pegatrix. This is my first Pegatrix and Darkest. I do collect Pegatrix, though. Pegatrix is my favorite Bakugan, and I have... Um, there's actually going to be another Pegatrix in the other lot that I picked up from eBay, so we'll unbox that one on camera, too, when it comes in. We have an Aurelis Mantinoid. Phaedrus Ultra. And... Hydronoid Ultra. Oh, and one more ability card, the Ash Cloud. All right, so that'll do it for the cards. Give me a minute. And now we're going to pull out the actual Bakugan. This will take a moment. And they're not supposed to fall on the floor as I pull them out. <sighs> I guess that guy was just trigger happy. So now I'm just taking out all the Bakugan. Okay. This guy came out with his little plastic clip. So I got to take off the packaging clip somehow. Without breaking. There it goes. So I'm actually going to fold up these two guys and show you everyone in ball form and pop them open and show you character form from open. Just give me a moment to get him out. There we go. Actually, 
actually it'll probably take up let me go ahead and try flattening out this box real quick actually the plastic can't be flattened so it'll take up the same amount in, in the trash either way so let's just put it back together All right, and I messed that up, of course, because I always forget something. There's one other piece of trash involved with this as well. I do enjoy, I do like this packaging. It's a very nicely designed designed package. Definitely impressive big, bulky, grabs attention on the target shelf. All right. And now with the trash out of the way, let's get to Hold on. Why is it not closing? Well, that's going in the trash anyway. Let me go ahead and close up the two ultras real quick so that I can show you everyone ball to open. I've... So I have an Ultra Phaedrus, so I don't understand why this one's not closing. I've done this close before. All right, tail in, wings in. All right, time for the instructions. <laughs> So it says I'm supposed to do the head last. All right, give me a moment. All right, give me one moment.
So arms, tail, all the way forward, lower wings, upper wings, and then ahead. That's what I was doing. So tail, lower wings, Maybe because the back piece was in, maybe the head wants to go in first. All right, I released that piece. So now let's try that again. This guy said tail. It's weird because I have this ultra. I have this ultra in another color. So I've done this fold before. So caught me by surprise that he wasn't closing. All right, got him closed finally. And now I just got to close up this guy. Let's see, this is a new sculpt for me. Let's see if I can figure him out. Fold up the arms. Well, those aren't arms, those are heads. Fold up that head, fold the arms in. And now for the feet, fold those forward. Flip that around, I'm assuming. Yeah, almost had him. So you gotta flip the lower legs around. Huh. Yeah. Bakugan Ultra can be pretty difficult to close, though the core forms are pre usually pretty easy to close. Every Bakugan is easy to close once you've practiced it a few times, though. It's just the first time you do it. It can be difficult if you don't know what you're doing. Okay, that piece is in. That piece is in. And now I just gotta come up here. And he's closed. Okay. And wow, that's a really cool looking ball form. Okay, everyone's closed. Which one do you want to see first? We're doing this one last because I like this creature. So do you want to see Vice Rocks, Hydronoid, Mantino Mantinoid, or, <laughs> or Phaedrus first? No response from chat. We're going to do Vice Rocks first. Here's the ball form. And now we're just going to drop him on the core. And there, there is Vice Rocks. And now we're going to do about these two I want to do last. So let's go ahead and do Phaedrus. Now that I went through all that trouble getting Phaedrus closed. Let's open her back up, shall we? Just got to feel it out. She's an ultra, so she'll land upside down if I just drop her on the core. There we go. <laughs> And Phaedrus has the man manual part. You have to pull her little legs out like that. And Phaedrus, of all the Ultra Bakugan in the line, 
Phaedrus looks the least like her character card and her and in the show because the character does not actually have wings. She does fly, but she flies without wings. So why the uh, why the toy has wings, I do not know. Although her core is much more show accurate. The base core version of Phaedrus, uh, I, I really like that one. All right, let's do Hydronoid next. There's the ball. And we're going to go ahead and pop the core. And you have to pull the arms down like that. Those aren't arms, actually. They're heads. Hydronoid is a hydra. There's Hydronoid. And now we'll do Mantanoid. Mantanoid is new for my collection. There's the ball. And now we're going to... Where's the magnet? Mantanoid, we can just drop. Oh, that one looks cool. Here is Mantanoid. You'll get a better view if I hold it by the tail. All characters in today's opening also have an ultra form. Hydronoid and Phaedrus both have core forms. I do have the Phaedrus core. I do not have the Hydronoid core. Vice Rocks, Scorporos, Mantanoid, and Pegatrix all have ultras. I do not have Vice Rocks, Scorporos, or Mantanoid ultra yet. I do have plenty of Pegatrixes though. <clears throat> Here's the Pegatrix ball. Wow, that's cool looking. This will be my first Pegatrix in Darkest. It's chaos in the show. <coughs> so far I have a Season 2 core Pegatrix in Chaos and Auralis. Season 2 Ultra version in Aquos. And the Season 1 Ultra version in Chaos. This is the Season 1 core version in darkest. And there she is. <laughs> this is my first season one core of Pegatrix and she looks awesome. Okay, of the six Bakugan that I opened up today, who was your favorite? All right, let's just check out that rolling action real quick for Pegatrix. There. Oh, that was nice. That was a nice pop. Okay. Let's close them all up now. Mantanoid, how do you close up? Okay, head in. Was that the trick? No, there's still something not going in all the way. Oh, the head has to fold in, that's why. I don't know how you do that if you can't get your fingers in there. There it goes. Mantanoid is closed.
All right, Scorpios. Phaedrus. Hydronoid. Uh, the leg's not floated up correctly. I can tell that's not correct. There we go. And the last one, Vice Rocks. There you go. All right, we're going to adjust the camera real quick. Um, let's fix the camera because we're going to go to game, gaming shortly. Yeah, that's good enough. I'll kill that lamp behind me. That's good enough for gaming. I'm going to put us back into the pause screen for a minute, and when I come back, we'll be in Spore. We will resume stream in a couple minutes. Okay, I'm back. I'm just waiting for the game to load. Can you hear me?
All right, then let's switch over to the game view. All right, we are in Spore now. Let's pick a planet. Okay. There's six different options. This one that looks like Earth. Uh, Mustafar. Uh, other Must. Uh, actually, that's more like uh, what's it called? Malastar. We have uh, Naboo. Uh, Mars or Endor. What planet should we start on? Lucifer, Malastar, Earth, Naboo, Mars, or Endor? No response, so we're just going to start on this planet. All right, we're going to start and cell stage. Are we, do we eat plants or do we eat meat? Okay, sounds like the game audio is broken. I'll turn the game sounds off once we get inside. I can't get to the options from here. Herbivore or carnivore? All right, I don't see in chat, so I'm just gonna choose carnivore. And we're gonna go Oh, too late. I've already clicked carnivore. It's been several years since I've played, so let's keep it on easy for tonight. And my species will be called... It'll be called the Reshmi, after a particularly dumb but intriguing Star Wars theory I read about this past weekend. That's the inspiration for this name, the Reshmi. And we'll skip the movie, because I just want to get into the game. All right, eat, grow, and evolve. So we need to, so we need to fill this bar. Okay. Audio settings, mute all. Now we're not gonna have that broken audio issue we were having. So we gotta find the little meat chunks and eat them. And we can also attack cells that are smaller than us. But we will be destroyed if we attack cells that are bigger than us.
All right, so there's a parts token. Let's see what it is. And now we can evolve the new part. Let's see what we want to do here. Okay. Let's give him a color pattern. Yeah, let's go with that. And look, now he kind of blends in with the water. That doesn't really do anything in the game mode, but it's a fun look. Yeah. Let's spike this guy. Uh-oh. Let's get away from that guy and go after this guy. As you can see, we gradually get bigger. Uh-oh. I just caught the attention of a big guy. Let's run. Or I mean swim. We can't run, we don't have legs yet. Uh, he's going towards the big guy, so let's keep going this way. Ooh, a target. A bunch of targets. These spikes are really coming in handy with the hunting. Ah, here's a guy who thinks he can just fight me. Well, let's prove him wrong. I got a part. Let's see what it is. Oh, it's expensive. But it increases my speed. We're saving up for that. We need 25 DNA points in order to buy that. So let's work on getting up to 25.
You can attack me, I'll attack you right back. That's how hunting works. We got another part. I think I prefer the speed upgrade over the uh, poison upgrade, though. Oof. Looks like my character died. That's the thing about this game, though. In the cell and creature stages, Death is not a permanent thing. Death is cheap. Because you just get reborn. I'm not so sure how it works at the later stages, though. But for cell and creature stages, if you die, you just get reborn. OK, that's what I want to build is that. That's more important than speed. All right, let's see if we're ready to upgrade things now. Let's move the eyes forward to accommodate. There, that looks good. And there will be a color variance now. Keeping with that deep blue look. We'll go with that. Now let's keep hunting. And it looks like we're getting close to the end. Uh, these guys have spikes. Do I really want to be hunting them? Yes, because I can get them from behind. I'll let him go. There's a piece of meat. Eyeball creature, prepare to die. Oh, it shocked me. And he gave me an electrocution piece. I hit him too fast before he could retaliate. There he goes. Uh oh. I just got killed again.
So when my other Bakugan package comes in, in the mail when my other order comes in, we'll unbox that on camera too. <laughs> that one has 12 characters in it. Q Cole, are you still here? The other eBay Bakugan order does contain one new Bakugan character for your collection. Let's go electric. Actually, I'd rather have speed than electric since we already have the spikes. Yeah, that looks good. I don't have to worry about color right now. Look at us go. And look, there's a whole bunch of cells of my species swimming in these parts. We're dominating here. You can see how close the progress bar is towards the end. We're almost done with cell stage. Let's find some meat, shall we? There is a guy. There is a slower moving guy. Ah, uh, that's plant. And he just swam right into my spikes and became my lunch. <sighs> All right. If a creature wants to be suicidal, who am I to stop them? I get a free meal with, with no effort, you know? Come on, meat, where are you? Uh oh, there's a bigger cell. Let's get out of here. Oh, hell no, we're not going that way. Oh wow, look at that progress bar. We're almost ready to move on to creature stage now. We just hunted someone a little bigger than ourselves. How clever is that? I love these spikes. You want to fight? You want to fight? Uh, play conservative right now. I'm not at full health. Run away! Swim away! Swim away! There's some meat. There's some more meat. And the body just the body just evolved 
a little tiny dino brain. All right. Let's go into creature mode. Let's evolve. Let's pick our first set of legs. Okay. These legs are all functionally the same. Let's see. What does this one look like? Let's adjust our appearance a little bit. Now I'm just adjusting what he looks like a little bit. We'll, we'll put the eyes up like that. We'll bring his mouth down like that. We'll bring the spikes forward like that. Let's let's make the head a little bit bigger and then we'll Okay. The head's okay. But what did I just do? I lost my feet. Let's start over with the feet. The head's okay, but the body still looks off. Let's make these big pseudo wings. Yeah, like that. And let's make the tail a little bit bigger. And What do these do? Ah, increase. We'll make them. scale down the feet a bit so it's in proportion. Nice big muscular legs though. Now for the color. Let's go back. The wings are a little too big now. And let's point them a little bit differently. That looks a bit more natural, I think. Of 
closer to the shoulder though. Hey chat, do you like this version of the creature? Okay, then this is how he's going to start creature stage. But it's getting late and I'm getting tired. So I think this is where I'm going to call stream and we will play with creature stage next time we do spore. Um, but let's just see what he looks like in the world. Oh. So we got a little nest here with myself and then some baby versions of myself running around. And that's where we're going to call it. We're going to go save. And quit. And all right. So I have another Bakugan package coming in the mail at some point. And that that one I will also open on stream. I'm probably not going to open all my Bakugan purchases on stream. But when I have big ones, maybe I will. And next time we play, uh, next time we play Spore, we'll do Creature Stage and maybe we'll be able to get an earlier start and maybe we'll have time for Tribal as well. The Tribal Stage is fun. All right, everyone, have a good night and I will see you soon. I think next time I want to go back to SeaWorld or Morrowind, but we'll be playing Spore again soon. Have a good night.